To solve these types of problems, you're going to have to apply your knowledge about the angle relationships that we just learned in order to set up equations and solve them. So looking at these two lines, let's assume, assume these lines are parallel here. First step, you want to recognize what types of relationships we have. So first, I notice that these two angles, this 60 degree angle, this y plus 40 degree angle, are on a line. They are a linear pair, which means that those angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So from there, I can say, all right, well, I know 60 plus y plus 40 equals, equals 180, because linear pairs are supplementary. If I go ahead and solve that, I'm going to get y equals 80. Boom. All right, next, let's see what else we got. Well, I've got this 60 and this 2x. Well, these are alternate exterior. I know alternate exterior angles are congruent. So since they're congruent, they have to be equal to each other. I'm going to say 60 equals 2x. Solving for there, I'll get x equals 30. Bada boom. Okay, here we've got one long transversal with three parallel lines. First, let's look at any relationships we can find. Here I see we've got a linear pair with x plus 20 and y minus 40, so I know that those two angles are going to have to add to give me 180 degrees. So I have y minus 40 plus x plus 20 equals 180. Okay, so if we try to solve this now, see that we've got two variables. We've got an x and a y. So this is going to be very difficult for us to solve, actually. Impossible. So are we stuck here? What do you think? What can we do? Well, we have this 85 over here. But this is so far away from either of these, I don't know if I can recognize any of the angle relationships. So here's another technique that you can do to solve uh, in, when you have these types of cases where it's not necessarily obvious what to do to set up. Well, I know this 85 degrees here is corresponding with this angle here, and I know corresponding angles are congruent. So what I can do here is I can go ahead and write 85 right there. Um, what else can I write? Well, I know that these angles are vertical, so I can go ahead and write 85 here. I know that these angles here are a linear pair, so, well, I can go ahead and write, I know 85 plus 95 is going to give me 180. All right, now that I've filled in, filled in some of my other angles here, I, I see some different relationships. Now I have an alternate exterior between y minus 40 and 95, so I know those need to be equal to one another. I'm going to set that up. y minus 40 equals 95. And solving for that, I'm going to get y equals 135. Boom. I've also got this x plus 20 x alternate exterior with 85. So I know that x plus 20 has to equal 85 because Alternate exterior angles are congruent. So if I solve for that, I'm going to x equals 65. Um, there's so many different ways you could set this up. We could also say that, you know, these are vertical angles here. I could label that 95. These are alternate exterior angles. I can label this 95. And then if I wanted to, I could say x plus 20 plus 95 equals 180. Or I could do another corresponding here and say this is going to equal to 85 angles, then I could say y minus 40 plus 85 equals 180. So there's lots of different ways you could set these up. If you're not sure, go ahead and just start labeling angles that you do know until you find an angle relationship that will work for you.